I can't answer all your whys. Charlie was misunderstood. He, he was God. That's why they were killing him. That's why they were hanging him. My name is Lynette Fromey. Was I in love with Charlie? Yeah. Yeah, still am. Still am. I don't think you ever fall out of love with anyone. My father and I never got along, so I ran away and I came back and I expected us to have this big emotional makeup, but I realized he had never attached himself to me to begin with. That's what drove most of us away from home. Just the opportunity to go out and see the world on our own, you know. And I really feel like we were discovering America. He robbed us of our parents and gave us back to ourselves. And one night, my father and I argued, and he said, get out and don't ever come back. So I did. I hitchhiked down to Venice and to this place where there were beatniks. I hoped somebody would pick me up. It was dark and no one was there, so I sat there staring at the ocean. And here comes Charlie. He scared me at first. He was attractive in some ways and not attractive in other ways. I didn't know what to say when he offered me a place. Then he said, I can't make up your mind for you. So I went with him. And he never did make up my mind for me. All these stories coming out about how he ordered all these people to do all these things. Well, he never ordered me. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted success and fame. A lot of us did. But it turned out L.A. with the glamorous showpiece was smoggy. Filth and trash, I, it, it wasn't pretty. Then one day, Susan Atkins comes in, says she found a big ranch where the westerns used to be filmed. There's big boulders and mountains and just everything that you would need to film a cowboy movie. So we went that way, and there was plenty of interaction, plenty of lovemaking, plenty of dancing. We were always taking care of each other. Charlie loved us to be beautiful, and he let us be beautiful. Well, one day, Charlie tells us there's going to be a revolution. Some of us had helped him kill this man, who we later find out is one of the Black Panthers, the leader, I think. And so there's going to be a race war. It's going to be this big revolution. So we were collecting dune buggies and parachutes and canvas and knives and everything you'd need to be in the desert. And then there were more killings. And some of the girls, I never participated myself, but some of the girls did. Uh, believed at the time, me and, and everyone else, that it was just one more person being killed. Whenever there were, there were visible times of war, when the conflicts in the street were visible, I, I determined not to make judgments. Then in August of 69, we had a big raid at the ranch and they busted it up and it was a search and destroy mission because they were kicking in doors that were already open. And they believed that we had stolen the Volkswagens to uh, crank out a squad of dune buggies. They hadn't tied the murders to us yet, but then they finally did. And there were some of us who intended to be witnesses for the defense. And we weren't allowed in the courtroom. So we marked ourselves as outsiders on the corner. And we stayed there. We met all kinds of people. It was a great education. And we 
decided we were not participating in society. I felt very honored to have met him. I know that sounds crazy to people who think he was the epitome of evil.